If this woman doesn't like this, maybe another one will. Bro, don't change yourself to please somebody else. Instead of looking for people, become somebody worth finding. Do so you see how this stuff applies to not just women? What's Papa Kings? Hope all is well. Today, we're going to be talking about why women don't talk to you. So, I know people may come into the comments and be like, well, I get women, I get this. Well, look, and this may not apply to you. I get a lot of comments. I see a lot of people. I see a lot of men talking about women don't do this. Women don't talk about this. Blah, 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 blah. I understand. Before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. So the first reason that women do not talk to you, you're not approachable. Now, I know people might say, Mark, women don't even approach men. Now, that is true, but it's rare. It's not a proven fact but it's very rare i don't know what the percentage is but it's not likely for a woman to approach you even if she does think you are attracted to her you understand what i'm saying now there have been cases now if a woman is really attracted to you and she just feels like approaching you she will but if in that case in that case only you got to be approachable so i'm not saying you got to be all smiley and whatnot but let's just say you're out with your friends, your guy friends, but there are women in the vicinity. There are women in the area, wherever you're at. Let's say you're out at a bar or something, right? You're out with your guy friends. You're having a good time, but you're not making a fool of yourself. You're not acting silly. You understand what I'm saying? You're showing people, potentially, that are looking from the outside in, that this person knows how to have a good time. Dang, it would probably be fun hanging out with them. Because it's essentially, while you're not in a relationship, you're building this life. You're building this life. So whether you're on social media or not, you don't have to flex or you have to do anything, but you're building a real good life. So your real life is better than the social media. So whenever you do post something, it's legit. You're not faking about something, but you don't have to post it. But what I'm saying is whenever you do give people glimpses of your life, even on social media and in real life, they are like, dang, this person knows how to have a good time. Like that looks cool like dang they're pretty well versed like dang they got a, a wide variety of hobbies like wow i haven't met somebody like that person you understand what i'm saying so you're not approachable that's reason number one why women don't talk to you now like i said it's there are some anomalies there are some cases where women will approach you but a lot of times they're not but we can't focus on what they do. We only can focus on what we do and what we bring to the table. We only can focus on what we can control. Remember that. Control what you can control, my brother. Control that. Let me get a sip real quick. A little parch. Second reason why women don't talk to you. Oh, this is my favorite one. It was not my favorite, but it's one that I see commonly. You're boring. You're boring as hell. Now, I know people might say, well, Mark, she's boring. And you might be right. <laughs> You might be a hundred percent. I might even bump it up. You might be a hundred thousand percent correct. A lot of females are born. Now, if there's someone watching my videos, you may be like, well, what about this? What about this? You ain't say this. Well, understand. I can't cover everything at one time, baby. Even if you're a man, you've got that in your mind. I can't cover everything at one time. Let's focus on what I'm talking about and let's go from there. There are both sides to the coin. There is a heads and a tails to a coin. You feel what I'm saying? There are two sides to different sto each story. But let me tell mine. So this is a way that you cannot be born. Now, you may have a great life. You may do a lot of crazy things. You may be an adventure, adventurous person. Women still may find that boring. Understand that. There are a lot of fish in the sea, as the saying goes. There are a lot of women out there. So you have to have that abundance mindset to be like, look, okay, if this woman doesn't like this, maybe another one will. But, bro, don't change yourself to please somebody else. Be yourself. And instead of looking for people, become somebody worth finding. So what I'm saying is you don't got to worry about if somebody likes that you like anime or if you like video games. Shit, keep doing that thing. You're going to find somebody or somebody's going to find you, rather that likes that that likes to play video games that likes to watch anime the hunter x hunter the shit the dragon Ball Z, the naruto the one piece whatever the, all that shit attack on titan you feel what i'm saying i i like anime you shit sometimes i like watching animated movies i like watching suspense movies shit i like watching law and order you feel me ain't nothing like a good episode tap in with my og olivia benson if you know you know but like i said some women be like damn that's kind of boring i'm like well shit you don't gotta watch it but some women like, damn, like, 
let's let's watch this let's, let's let's kick it up and binge this stuff. I'm like, you know what you are. Right. You know what you are. Right. You are. Right. And we just take it day by day from there. But you can't be born, man. So this is how oh, this is a way that you can alleviate. This is a way that you can alleviate being born, my G. If you don't do anything, if you're one of those people that just go to work, come home, go to work, come home, go to work, come home. That's cool. Get your bread up. I understand that. Or if you may go to the work, go to work, come home, go to the gym, throw that in the mix. I understand that. But try to do one fun thing a week, man. Whether it's going to a farmer's market, going to see a movie, um, even if it, a lot of times it's going to be by yourself, but get used to doing things by yourself. It's fine. It's fine. You're the main character of your movie. Shit, don't you want to enjoy your movie? If you're making a movie, don't you want to watch it? Like, why would you make a movie and not make it the best movie you can be? The best movie it can be, but understand it's something in movies now. You know, you got the beginning to start off slow sometimes, or start off sometimes kind of fast. But the thing about movies and life, they all got this thing. It's called tempo. Some people may even call it pace. Everything goes at a certain pace, but everything has ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows is another way of saying it's a roller coaster in life. You have ups and you have downs, my G. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. So just get used to being the main character of your life and enjoying that. But by doing one, but by doing one fun thing a week, now you have an opportunity to like, let's say it's a woman that you're attracted to or that you've been kind of communicating and you just got a number. Instead of just being one of those guys that be like, oh, just kind of come to my crib. You want to come over? You want to come over Netflix and chill? That's fine, but that's kind. But you gotta imagine how many times she's been asked that. So how can you do something different? You're not trying so hard to stand out to from everybody, but you're doing something that you actually like doing. So that's gonna take some initiative for you to go and find new hobbies, if you don't have any, or if you have some and you haven't been doing anything, or if you like to play basketball. Go start hooping again at the park or at the 24-hour fitness or whatever. You may find a girl up there that like to hoop too. You may find a girl just in general and she just an ex-basketball player. Boom, now y'all can play one-on-one -on -one together. Just don't get your ass beat. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Stay on your ground. Stay on business, buddy. But yeah, just do try to start doing, start, try to start incorporating fun things within your schedule. Even if it's at minimum once a week, whenever you can. And whenever you're talking to a woman, you're going to have, you can still invite her to the crib, but you're going to have more things to do, more things to talk about, more things to share moments together, more time, more, more chances to, to grow, more chances to develop a connection, you know, rather than just, because you got to think about it like this. Yes, you can just get straight to the cheeks if you go to the, um, if you go to the crib, I understand that. Now, a lot of people, if that's what you want to do, you don't have to listen to what I'm saying. Use your game, but if you find what I'm saying as something that you can apply, apply it to your life. Take notes, my G. Rewind this video as many times as you need to. Share it with a friend. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Straight like that. But next topic, we're gonna we're gonna come back and do a little recap at the end. But the next topic, we're gonna get ready to close. You can't hold a conversation. So I know people might say, "Well, Mark, she's not good at holding a conversation." I know, but we're controlling what we can control. We ain't worried about what they're doing. We're not worried about it. Can you hold a conversation though? Can you talk about something that's just not gossip? Can you come up with an intellectual conversation? Can you stimulate this woman's mind? Now, a lot of women, you're not going to be able to. Like I said, we're just, you're, just, you're just not compatible with every single person. It's just like in the business field. It's just like when you're selling a product and they ask, who are you marketing to? If you say everybody, if you're marketing to everybody, you're selling to no one. So if you're for everybody, shit, who are you really for? If you're for every single woman that comes your way, if you will smash anything just because it has a pulse, my nigga, bro, no, have your standards and have your way. Because look, that woman may not like this thing about you, but you may. But like I said, you can't hold a conversation. That's what women don't talk to you. So start to develop a mouthpiece. It's not about having game. It's not about having riz. It's not about having these little one little pickup lines. Okay, if you do come in with a pickup line, can you follow up with it? Can you come up with a conversation instead of asking a girl, what you doing, what you doing, what you doing every damn five minutes? Now, if she's doing that to you, I'm not going to say it's cool, but we're not focused on what they're doing because we can't control their actions. We can control our actions, though. How we conduct in conversation. And this doesn't have to even uh, apply to women. How can you, can you hold a conversation in general? Like, 
going out to a regular public place, you just talk to somebody. If somebody starts talking to you, you never know. That might be a business deal, like you, like I said, but it comes down to where you're approachable. Can somebody come up to you and be like, hey, you look athletic. I'm the owner of Gymshark. Can I influence you? Say you're at the airport and that shit happened to you. If you're not looking approachable, they're probably not going to come up to you. And now if you actually do get into the conversation, you don't have any charisma, you don't have anything about you that really kind of stands out to make them like, damn, that person, that was my first time meeting them because first impressions do matter. Nor if they're trying to hold a conversation with you, you don't have conversation skills. So you see how this stuff applies to not just women. So you made it to the end of this video. Make sure you comment W because like I said, if you made it to this end of the video, you're, these gems that I'm giving you, you a sponge right now. They soaking in. The game is soaking into you. And you're going to apply that in your life. And I'm just helping brother to a brother. If you're a sister, watch this video. Flip it. Flip flip the perspective. Don't be a, be approachable. You'd be like, well, shit, why men don't talk to me? Well, shit, you're not approachable. You can't hold a conversation. You're boring. The same thing can apply. So I'm going to title this video why women don't talk to you. But like I said, if you made it this far, shit, you can even share it with your mom, your auntie, your cousin, your brother, your sister, your third grade teacher, whoever the hell you want to do. But it applies to both genders. So... To recap, why women don't talk to you? You're not approachable. And if you miss anything, make sure you rewind it. I'm gonna try to put some uh, some chapters on chapters and timestamps and stuff like that. You're not approachable. Number one, you're boring. And you can't hold a conversation. And bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was a lot of other reasons that I could have came up with, but those were the ones that when I when I was really thinking about this topic for today, like dang, those really stand out. So it's your boy Mark 88. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Let's keep going. Let's keep hitting our goals and attacking. Sometimes it's hard. It's not always easy. But what we're going to do is we're going to respond. Sometimes that's what it's about in life. Responding. Remember, save yourself. Nobody's going to save you. Peace and blessings.